This research, Social Determinants of Health, um, looks at what socioeconomic and demographic factors are related to public health concerns in Colorado, uh, but with a particular interest in housing affordability. We see the Denver area has majority census tracts that experience both housing issue and mental health issue, but also southern cities such as Pueblo and Colorado Springs, some urban tracts, uh, also have uh, this challenge of overlapping housing and housing problem. Um, and the some western part, uh, you can see some hot spots of suicide and mortality uh, near the Grand Junction area. And some filter should be done to explore or examine what actually is going on on the ground. It was, it was actually almost stunning um, to find out that we have pretty high prevalence of mental health issues. Uh, I read it somewhere there's over 30,000 people uh, that experience at least, where they, um, they had a problem, uh, problematic experience with uh, drug uh, and um, drug poisoning and overdose. So that's concerning. But in the map, again, we can see exactly where, where what's sort of the, the state average. Right? So you can see oh, these are the more problematic areas and why. So that was one thing that we found out. Uh, and second, um, still with the level of mental health, uh, even suicidal mortality and uh, drug mortality, there's a great uh, disparity between the neighborhoods. I think that was the whole point of the project, why certain areas experience much greater burden and problems compared to others. GIS enables you to overlay different layers here in this case, different data sets, for example. Uh, and you can see the direct relationship, right, between the one layer to another layer, and then it could be third or fourth layer. Um, so to us, it was pretty straightforward answer to find out the relationship between this health and housing issue as you use the GIS.